Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be for Lauren London. Uh, the questions I'm going to be asking are going to be pretty intense, so let me just say this is all for um, entertainment purposes only, and everything I say here is allegedly. Now then, let's begin. So let's see, who is this uh, Lauren London person as a person? Who is she? So let's see what pops up. Well, she's a very, um, what do you call it? Secretive person is what I'm picking up from the energies just from, from uh, shuffling. So this has to do with her motion because the card is face down. So let's see what that is about. Hmm. This Four of Wands. What this Four of Wands is showing me, I'm going to be real. I'm getting a user. I know that seems pretty intense, right? But it's kind of just like, hmm. The force for me, it has to do with um, like family, it has to do with home, you know what I mean? It also has to do with like relationships and shit. I'm picking up an energy of exploiting that for victory, you know what I mean? That's what I'm picking up, you know what I mean? This is showing me a, um, I don't know if I should say a social climber, because I'm not necessarily getting a social climber. I'm getting more of an energy of just like, she attaches herself to people, situations, things that will bring her success. So that's who she is as a person. Let's see. Also, this King of Pentacles. She's very masculine with her energy. She is not a feminine. Um, she's not a feminine lady by no means. She is very masculine. She's all about her money. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what this deck shows. But I tell you, she's about her money. You see how like the cards come out for me and it explains the energies for you guys? It is what it is. She's all about her money. You know what I mean? So that's what she's about. Again, she attaches herself to people, things, situations, places, and all that to elevate herself. This is a really deep deck, so let's see what pops up with this deck. All right. The card fell um, face down and sideways. So what that indicates to me is that um, this is a shady energy because the card is sideways. So let's see what that's about. Hmm, the magician. Ooh, I gotta say goddamn, because this shit is crazy. So this is showing me shady practices. This is really deep. Very, very damn deep. Because it's kind of just like, the magician, it doesn't have to be a negative card, right? You know what I mean? But the fact that it fell sideways and face down, it's indicating to me that she is a shady magician. She is a shady witch. Hmm, let's see what this deck wants to show us. So I knew that deck was going to give a deep answer because that deck is really deep. The Lovers. She uses, um, <laughs> damn, this is deep. This ain't looking too good, right? Let me just go with the energies before I start talking shit. This is crazy, but again, she uses love as a tool. Love is one of her uh, tools, you know what I mean? As far as the magician energy. You know what I mean? So the energy is definitely spoke for itself. You know what I mean? This is showing me a very shady individual. You know what I mean? A user. You know what I mean? Also, this king of pentacles. Someone that's very aggressive. You know what I mean? Someone that doesn't really display emotions. You know what I mean? It's all about the money. All about growth. You know what I mean? All about the career. Shady uh, witch. <laughs> and a user of love. So, hmm, now I'm going to get to the, in, the um, intense questions. <laughs> only think I only have like two, I think, if I'm right, two or three. Because like I didn't write anything down or anything. This all has to do with like my memory because I'm like curious. Like I decided to do this at random. So let's see. Did she play a shady role in... Um, the passing of Nipsey Hussle. So let's see. Did she play a shady role? Mm, I gotta call it as it is, guys. I definitely have to call it as it is. You know what I mean? The fact that the two eights are visible. This is deep. This is showing me, yeah. You know what I mean? This is definitely showing me, yeah. Because... Eight has to do with um, death, transformation. 
This eight of wands, it has to do with connections. You know what I mean? This connections that she was associated with, it brought death with it. Not just that she established some wealth for herself, but again, it has to do with eight. And the next card, damn, this nine of pentacles. This is showing me that, yeah, she definitely was associated with some shady ass shit as far as this Nipsey Hustle thing's concerned. Not just that, she had regret after it was done. So, I mean, damn, this is really deep. I mean, the cards definitely speak for itself. This is really deep. I'm actually happy I decided to just uh, decide to do this shit at random because the energies are coming out pretty heavy. Let me pick up these energies because it's giving me a lot of shit. I don't know. It's kind of just like an energy of being immature, right? Because it's kind of just like... She wasn't thinking clearly, you know what I mean? She definitely wasn't thinking clearly because this is um, 16. There's two eights here, so it's kind of just like, hmm. I'm getting energy of doing too much. She definitely was doing too much. Not just that, she was um, aware of like her actions and what she was doing and what the goal was. But again, I'm picking up an energy of not caring. You know what I mean? But then later on, having regret. So, I mean, hmm. I don't know. This is some deep energies. Let me continue to look. Because I just don't want to say, like, too much and shit. I kind of just want the um, energies to speak for itself. So, like, yeah. Did she love um, Nipsey? Let's see. Did she actually love him? The student, nah, she didn't love him. I gotta keep it real. It is what it is. She was using that whole situation they had as a learning situation. You know what I mean? She was observing. Not just that. I'm kind of getting like a spy type of energy. So this is some deep shit again. It was no love. You know what I mean? She was a spy. She was um, overseeing like what the fuck he was doing. I don't, you know, I don't know. But it's like. This is deep. This is really deep because I'm picking up some heavy energies and it's just like kind of like I can't believe it because it's so heavy and it's so deep, especially the vibe that I'm picking up. I know you guys probably aren't picking it up unless you're intuitive, but this is some deep shit, actually. It's a very emotional situation because this gives um, insight as far as the whole situation that was going down, because this is showing me that she was a spy. She was sent. You know what I mean? Let's get the bottom of the deck. With this family values and ceremony and all of that and tradition, this is, I'm getting a kind of like, um, what do you call that? This is a karmic situation that goes on with her family. It's definitely a karmic situation that goes on with her family. You know what I mean? Like this is a tradition as far as the women in her family. They do shady shit like this and end up getting guys killed, murdered. You know, betrayed. You know what I mean? This is a generational situation. And if I'm correct, I believe this card fell out sideways. If I'm correct. So this is showing me that, yeah, there was a lot of shady things going on, man. Definitely a lot of shady things going on. Um, let's see. What else can I see about this situation? Because my question was, did she love him? But this is showing me that, nah, she was used to just spy on him by his enemies this six of swords this is a fucked up situation right because hmm, i don't because like how the card fell i was like being drawn to pull it but the energies i'm getting it's kind of like um nipsey's energy but the thing is i don't like to really pick up um energies of people that have passed away and shit that's not my style but i'm gonna just say for the sake of the energies because it did come out that he wanted something real with her you know what I mean? It's kind of just like he thought he was going to escape with her. You know what I mean? He thought some shit was going to go down. But what he didn't know is that she had death following her. You know what I mean? She was attached to death. You know what I mean? And it was death for him. You know? Some deep ass shit. Let's see what else come up. Face down this 10 of wands. She's burdened. 
she's being deaf she's definitely being burdened at this moment because of her shady situations you see how this person's coming out of the forest the dark forest and shit carrying all of these logs it's the energy of being overburdened she is definitely overburdened at this time so i mean it is what it is I mean, I was going to get into, like, what is her current relationship status and all of that. Because I didn't expect these energies to be so deep and heavy. But I'm going to leave it here for now. You know what I mean? And then probably get to that later on. But I feel like this shit definitely spoke for itself. And it was definitely interesting. If you made it this far, definitely press the thumbs up button. You know what I mean? And if you would like to have a reading with me, you know what I mean? How to go about that will be in the description box. If you would like me to cover a celebrity, how to go about that as well will be in the description box. Peace and abundance for all.